Hi guys and thanks for tuning in to another video. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys in on a little event that we have coming up at our Osmond Park store on the 15th of November. Now, it's a Whiting on Lures seminar night and it starts at 6.30 p.m. and it runs to 9 p.m. We're going to have guest speakers, we're going to discuss everything that there is to, to learn about targeting yellowfin whiting and whiting in general on top water lures. So this is a seminar at our Osmond Park store. You do have to book to come. I'm gonna leave a link with the, uh, all the details in the description. And um, if you'd like to, to attend one of our seminars, and this is gonna be a really good, good fun one to come along to. Um, we've got a, some great prizes to give away. And, and like I said, there's a lot of information up for grabs. So if you would like to learn a bit more, then come along and it'd be great to see you there. Okay, so first off, we're going to look at the new colours in the Daiwa Rolling Crank, the Infeet Rolling Crank. Now, these lures have been out for oh, maybe about six months, maybe eight months now, but we've just received some updated colours and they look pretty, pretty good. This one here is a uh, the Weedy Suji, they call it, and this is in the, the Deep Runner. So this, this lure, it's, you can see it's quite a fat, chubby style lure. It's 32 millimeters long and 3.6 grams. So they cast exceptionally well. I was using one the other day and I was actually surprised at how well they, they did cast. Didn't catch any fish on it, but the action's really nice. You can feel it when you're, when you're winding the reel. Um, just through the rod tip, you can feel the lure really, really swimming. Next up, we have the Mudblood color. Now, this one's actually quite a cool little color. It's very... Um, I don't know if you can see it that well there, but it's got a, a real nice red sparkle through it and a browny goldy kind of color to the body. It is quite a quite a nice little color, and in the sun, I think you're going to get some really good reflection off that. But that's the mudblood color. So next up, we have the Suji Berry. Now, Suji Berry is actually a current color in the Infeet Spike. So that's the other range of Infeet lures. Another diving lure. This colour's been around for a little bit. Um, quite a nice colour. You know, you got the little red lines there. It's translucent. You can see it's not a bad, not a bad one. So they've brought that over to the rolling cranks. Next up, there's something a little bit different. Now, this one's called the orange crab. Now, I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a kind of translucent orangey brown colour with the spots on the side crab looking spots on the side not sure if i'm a fan of this color um I, i've never used a color quite like this before but you know if dyer has released it i'm sure it's going to be a a decent one to give a shot but that's the orange crab onto this one now this one is actually if you can see here i'm going to show you quickly as well just the differences in the bib so this is the deep runner this is the medium runner I was actually using the medium runner the other day when I was fishing and that dives to about a meter, I'd say, um, depending on how fast you, you retrieve it. But I reckon this is probably my favorite color out of the new models. Uh, well, the new color range that's just been released. And this is called the Risky Suji. Now, I really like on brim lures when they have the orange belly like this. I just think it stands out for the fish. They, they can see it a lot better. Um, I've just always had really good success on brim lures with an orange belly got the nice translucent sides to it as well and then you've also got i don't know how well you can see it in this video but there's kind of these green prawny looking marks down the side of it so that's the the risky suji and i'd say that's probably my favorite this one here though i really do like this one as well i haven't used it yet but i'm going to be giving it a shot in the next couple of the weeks and this is called the red crab now I think this will be good if you're fishing rock bars or banks. Um, you can see it's got a red, kind of deep red belly, and then you've got the reflective uh, silvery green sides, and it's really got a nice green sparkle to it. But again, that's going to look really good on the flats. Um, the red crab color, I don't know. I'll have to give this one a run, I think. I'm definitely going to add one to the tackle box. And one thing that I'm going to say that with all these new Daiwa lures that I really like, and I actually think they're probably the best hooks 
for light tackle brimming at the moment that I've used is the BKK trebles. They all come fitted with BKK treble hooks. And the good thing about these hooks is not only are they really strong and they're really sharp, but they also have a coating on them. I can't, I, I think they call it like a SAS coating. It's a Daiwa SAS coating. And it actually makes the, the hook a lot more slippery. So hooking up the hook actually, <laughs> the hook actually slides into the fish's mouth a bit better, but it's also protection. So your hooks don't go rusty anywhere near as quickly. So all the Daiwa in feet lures, they come um, pre-rigged with good quality terminal. So you can use the lure straight out of the box. Now with all of these Daiwa in feet cranks and pretty much all of the Daiwa brim lures, we pretty much carry the whole range in store and on our website. Um, so there's a massive selection of colors there and they've got some really, really nice colors throughout the whole range. So when you come in store, um, you'll see if, if there's a color there that they do, we generally have them in stock. So you, and that's with most of our brim lures as well. We try to carry the whole range in each particular model of lure that we do. So we give you guys a really good choice of lures. Anyway, the in feet rolling crank, that's one to check out. So moving on from the Daiwa lures, we've just got a bit of a restock on the, the Pro Lure clone prawns. Now, not a new product, but we do have um, all the colors back in stock. They've been really popular. Um, you know, you've watched my content, you've seen me doing really well on them. Just a good lure that it's something different. If, you, if you're sick of throwing the same old kind of grubs and and um, slim swims and that kind of thing and just want to try something new then these ones they're a really good lure i caught a lot on them they've got a lot of action this is the jelly prawn color um, real nice natural one but they're back in stock um, like i said been really popular some of the guys have been using the slightly larger model in the river and catching um, some good size soapy mulloway on them so all of them back in stock so moving on from the lures, we finally have these back in stock and we have stacks of them. So if you don't know what it is, it's a line puller. And it's just a simple tool, makes tying knots, um, FG knots or leader knots or anything that you need to pull, pull tight. Just makes it really, really simple. All you can do is wrap your mono, your leader line around the, the fatter tube and then you can wrap your braid around the thinner tube and you pull it tight. And it just makes pulling your knots you just pretty much tighten your knots up so that they're not going to fail and, and you can test your knots but just a really handy tool to have in your tackle box finally we, we've got a decent amount back in stock because every time we get them they sell out really quick but cool easy storage you just simply wind it back together throw it in your tackle box and you can pull it out when you need it but they're all back in stock so i'll link them in the description as well if you want to go ahead and order one online or you can pop in store like i said we have heaps available so they're not going to run out anytime soon now i'm sure most of you are aware like things are a little bit especially like high-end good quality stuff is you know over the past kind of couple of years um getting a hold of products is has been quite difficult with all this covid stuff and there's seems like there's just not enough products to go around but we finally just received some more electric reels and we've been waiting on these um little 500 size seaborgs to come in for god i don't know it's been at least six months we've been waiting for these we've just had a batch of them arrive so if you're looking for a nice small little electric reel then this is definitely one that you're you're going to want to check out but they're they're back in stock we've also just had some more Tanicum 1200s come back into stock. So the big, real big electric reels. Um, these things, our first batch that we got sold out real quick, um, had some really good reports on them. So, and they're, they're reasonably, they're, yeah, they're 10, uh, 1099. So they're pretty reasonable for an electric reel, but they're back in stock. And another JDM product that we've got, we haven't got the right-handed versions, but um, we've got the left-handed versions is the Soltiga 15 size, the 2022 slow jigging reels. So these things, you know, they're probably the sexiest overhead jigging reel on the market today. Um, but again, like I said, we've only got the, the left-hand versions in stock at the moment. Hopefully we'll have some, some right-handed ones coming back into stock, coming back into stock real soon. But if you're a lefty, then they're available now, only in limited numbers, but we do have them. So 
If you're chasing one, get on it. Oh, also while we're on the reels, I almost forgot to show you this, but the Maverick, so the new Daiwa Maverick has just come out um, not, not that long ago, but we didn't have the bigger sizes, but we've just received the larger 18 and 20,000 size reels. So these are really gonna be good for GT popping. Any real um, you know, heavy duty fishing where you need a large reel, but the 18 and 20,000, they're in stock now. Um, yeah, even drone fishing, the 20,000 is gonna be a really good one for drone fishing because it's an extra high speed reel so you can get your line in quick. It's 20,000 spool so it holds a stack of line. Um, but anyway, that's a, that's a good one. They're priced just below a Surtate SW, um, but they feature Surtate and Saltiga gearing. So they're quite a good value for money, heavy duty reel um, at a reasonable price point. I mean, they're not, they're not cheap, but they're at a reasonable price point. So while we're here at the Beckingham store as well, if you haven't been into this store for a little while, it's been a little bit of a work in progress over the past, I don't know, at least four months um, with our extension. So we've pretty much uh, essentially outgrown this store, which is crazy because when, when we opened the store, I was just wondering how the hell are we gonna fill this shop up with stuff? And then, you know, it's, it's almost been four years that we've been in this location and we've well and truly outgrown the store. I mean, there's absolutely, I don't know if you can see in the background here, but it's absolutely packed full of stuff. And I just, it's, it's crazy to think that we've outgrown it this quickly, but we've had a bit of a, renovation so if you can see here we've actually added on another well another room to the whole to the whole shop we actually uh, yeah well we knocked the wall out and um, yeah I've made a another room you know it's it's probably not um, you know I guess it's it's probably a band-aid because we still need more room than this but at the end of the day um, we do have more room and it's gonna look really good when it's done um, I'm not gonna tell you what's going in here yet, but hopefully another week or two we we're gonna be finished and then we can get all the gear kind of brought into here and just, you know, make the store look a little bit, a little bit neater, a little bit more spread out. Um, but yeah, just a bit of a look at, at what's going on here at the Beckenham store. So really looking forward to this, this whole thing just being done and, you know, making the store a little bit less cramped, but Anyway, that's some um, news for our Beckingham store. Now, while we're on the subject of new colors, we have just received the new colors in the Nomad Vertrex. And they're only in the 95 and the 110, but they're in the Swim and in the Max versions. Um, they've just released some natural colors and they, they actually look really good. Um, they're gonna be really good for clear water fishing. And yeah, they're, they're, they're not a bad, bad looking range of colors. So this one here is called the Aqua Ghost. Now it's quite a translucent -y kind of bait fish pattern. Very natural. That one's the, they call it AG or Aqua Go Ghost. Next up we have, um, this one's called the Croaker. Now that's quite a, I really like this pattern. Um, you can see the, the stripes and the purple, purple line down the guts. Um, that one there, you know, nice kind of bony looking spot on the side. That one there is a real real nice looker and then we have this one's a real bait bait fish pattern and they call this one the mangrove shad now how cool does that look but again three new natural colors only available in the 95 and the 110s in both in the swim and the max but they're new they're online as well so if you want to try them out you can order yourself some from tacklewest.com.au but three new vertrex colors available now. Now, while we're on Nomad, I'm gonna give you a look. Like, these guys are just releasing so much new product, it's kind of a little bit hard to keep up with it, but I'm gonna give you a look at the all new Shikari Minnow. So, this is a jerkbait style lure. So, it has a shallow bib. Um, this is actually, I think this is gonna be really good for tailor fishing, like local tailor fishing um, around the reefs where you just need, don't need a super deep diving lure, but just something just to get down. Uh, well, that's what I'm gonna give them a shot for. I haven't used one yet, but I'm absolutely gonna give these a crack for tailor because I think, I think they'll work really well. But they're gonna work good for a variety of species. Um, I just think barra, 
you know, mangrove jacks, those kind of species up north. Anything where you need a shallow diving jerk bait. Um, but this will, you will jerk this lure and this will swim side to side. Um, they're a full wire construction. They come with um, BKK Viper hooks. R some really nice colors in the range. Again, this is that Aqua Ghost, so a similar, similar one to that Vertrex that we were looking at. Available in three sizes. So we have a 95, which is a nice small one. And this one here is the smallest of the lot. So this is the 95 size. And I think this is gonna be really good. I reckon even giant herring in the river. This will be a really good lure for them. Um, even obviously Taylor in the river, you could slow troll these. I'm sure they're still gonna slowly troll just below the surface. But that's the big 145. It's the 95. It's quite a small pin, pin shape lure. Um, but again, that's going to be quite a nice one. Some nice colours in there. They do them in a 115 mil size as well. And then we've obviously got the big 145. But that's the new Shikari Minnow. Um, they're available in a couple of different kind of configurations with uh, floating and then slow floating. Um, but they're all on our website. We Again, with pretty much all of the lures that we stock, we've got, well, especially with Nomad, um, we stock the whole color range. So if you're looking for somewhere to, you know, where you can buy all the colors, then you can check them out at tacklewest.com.au because we have them all. But that's the new Shikari Minnow from Nomad. Anyway guys, that's a bit of a look at some of the new things that have come in and some of the things that have been restocked over the past week. Um, anyway, oh, I'm going to wrap this video up here, but again, if you'd like to come to our um, seminar night that's coming up on the 15th of November, I've put the link in the description below so you can come and check that out. You do have to register with us, but that's easy enough. You can contact us on Instagram or Facebook, either of those two, or you can even call the store and we can get you booked in. It's, it really is going to be a good night. Every seminar that we do t tends to be pretty bloody good, but um, thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you in the next video.